Hi, all right, guys. Uh, it's Aaron here. Um, it's going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to uh, purchase uh, and settle post booter. Um, some people have been struggling with this, so I thought making a video would make it a lot simpler and easier for people um, to do this. Uh, so uh, just follow this tutorial and you should be fine. So uh, basically, oh, yeah, first thing is go to hostbooter.com. Uh, Um, before going to the purchase page, I would say check out the download section because you're going to need to download a few files uh, to purchase the booter. Uh, the first file you're going to need is uh, the library files pack, uh, so you might as well just go ahead and download that. Um, so just download that. And also the other uh, file you will need uh, is the serial grabber, so go ahead and download the serial grabber as well you will need this uh, so also make sure you have WinRAR uh, installed on your computer because all these files uh, need to be uh, extracted using WinRAR so if you don't just download WinRAR also and once you've downloaded both of those files go across to a purchase page and um, you have serial dynamic DNS password and username uh, the serial you get from your serial grabber which we've just downloaded off the downloads so, uh, we're just going to move over to the Dynamic DNS. People don't know what this is, uh, but I ain't going to explain what it is. I'm just going to show you how to set it up and everything, basically. So, if you need to make a DNS, go to the website www.no-ip.com um, and just create an account there, basically. Once you've created an account, <coughs> you're going to have a screen that looks a little bit, uh, wait until I get to it. You should have a screen that looks something like that. As soon as you create an account and log in, you'll have a screen that looks exactly like that. Um, and you'll see add host and manage host, refer friend, and you want to click on add host. Once you've added a, add the host, you'll see um, host name and all that. Host name could be anything you want. Um, I suggest making it something uh, that you remember. Um, so something simple. So if you just you know add anything really. Mine's test one two three one two three. Um, and then the drop down box. Uh, I tend to go for either dot org, dot info, or dot biz. It's totally up to which one you select. Um, but I tend to go for uh, one of those two, one of those three. Sorry, but I'm going for dot info on this one. <coughs> um, once you've done that, just click on create a host at the bottom. So just click create host. <coughs> Oops. Okay, there you go. There's, there's your host made. So um, basically, I'm not. I'll, I'll make another tutorial on how how this works. Basically, but this I'm just going to show you how to set it up. So basically, just copy your domain or DNS, whatever you want to call it. Um, copy that and paste it into the dynamic DNS uh, section there. Serial. Right, we downloaded the serial grabber before, we're going to need that now. So we'll open that, extract that. Uh, and just double click it. <coughs> Alright, now copy the serial to your clipboard. And paste it into the serial box. Okay. Uh, password uh, um, can be anything you want, really. Um, it's totally up to you. Just make it so someone couldn't guess it, I suppose. Um, so I'll just make it something random. 
Uh, the username as well um, can be anything of your choice. Um, it's totally up to you what, which, what, what you want to have as your username. Uh, the thing about the username, I'm not sure if you can have spaces in it. I'm not too sure about that, but you'll find that out sooner or later. Um, but yeah. So go ahead and once you've done that, just double check you've got everything filled in correctly. Um, make sure you have no spaces at the end of them as well, because sometimes that can mess things up for you. So make sure you have no spaces at the end of uh, the text. So after you've done that, just click purchase. Um, and go through and log into PayPal and purchase it. Once you've purchased, you'll get an email uh, confirming you've purchased and with your login details uh, emailed to you. Um, but you don't need that. So once you've paid, just literally go to uh, the portal and just log into the portal as I am now. <coughs> so username, whatever you set as your username, you just log in with. So. My username for this is going to be YouTube. Um, then my password. Okay, if that if everything works, so you should have a have a screen like that. Um, with your YouTube as your my username, DNS, say change serial, and change password. You can change your password later on. Um, we do give you, I suggest you change it, um, but it's totally up to you. Uh, go ahead and click download the client. If you want to save the file, <coughs> once you've downloaded it, um, you want to go ahead and open that, extract it to your desktop or something. Uh, but now you want to open the library files also. If you haven't downloaded the library files of the downloads page, now go and do that. You need the library files. Um, not everyone does, but some of the people or some computers do not have uh, the OCX files installed. And this does it for you. So basically just uh, run the library files uh, program application. And just these quick steps, just follow them. It takes about 30 seconds. Just clean install that. <clears throat> Once installed, uh, you just open the client. Remember, um, if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, uh, a host booter needs to be run as an administrator. So if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you need to click as administrator or administrator for this to for this to work. <coughs> and there you go. Um obviously um you need to port forward thirty one seventy seven. I ain't gonna go through that with you as um it wouldn't benefit people as I, my router is not gonna be the same as everyone else's out there. So these tutorials and how to port forward and everything like that. Um but basically that's it. You do need to port forward thirty one seventy seven. Um and then that's that's it, you you're ready. You can run your bot on yourself to test that you've opened the ports correctly. Uh and that's it. Just uh if you have any problems or anything, just uh comment the comment the the video or um, email us at support on the support page on the site um, and we're more than happy to help um, thank you